Welcome to Higher Study Prep. Today we are going to show you how to do our GRE mock test. So for doing the GRE mock test, which is only available to people who have subscribed for different plans, we can go into this link, GRE mock test, and then we can begin our tests. So since I have a profile and I have tests, uh, practice my tests, you can see that there are some scores, but when you are going to do it new, you're only going to have these links. So I'm going to start with one of the tests to give you a demonstration of how the interface looks like. Now I'm clicking in one of the tests and now you can see the page that looks just like the exam that you'd see in an actual ETS GRE exam. So from that perspective, it's very useful because you already know what type of interface you're going to face. And then also it's designed to give you the same information and same timing as it does in the real test. So you will have an excellent practice even before going to the real exam. So the first page shows you general information that you would see in an ETS exam about timing and break, the test information, repeater's policy. So now that you have some time, you can read these and familiarize yourself so that you are not new when you are doing the actual test. Now I'm going to start a new model test. Now the first section that comes here is quantitative, uh, which shows there are 20 questions uh, for 35 minutes as it does in an actual test. Now in this page you can see all the information again for your convenience you can read it beforehand because it's exactly like the actual test. There's also a help page uh, which gives you some section directions, uh, some general directions about the timing break and test information. There's a calculator as you would see in an actual test and then other testing tools on how you can navigate. So again, take your time to read this before you appear in your real exam, that would save you some time. Now I'm going to return to the actual page here to show you a demonstration. I'm going to start the exam. So when I hit the continue button, it will take me to the actual exam where it shows the number of questions uh, which is 20 and then the timer also starts to give you an indication how much time is remaining of your actual test. You can either use this time as a, a timer or if it makes you tense you can just hide and show it whenever you want to see it again. Now for demonstration purpose I'm just going to randomly select one answer and proceed to the next. Now for example uh, for this question I'm not so quite sure about this answer and then I don't want to spend too much time on it rather I would spend more time on the other questions in that case I would mark this question so that I can come back to it and revise it later so let me show you if I want to come back to a marked question what to do there's a review section here if I go to the review section it shows me the list of questions that I have answered or not answered and then questions that I have marked so for example question number two has been marked. So I want to check it back. So I select and as you can see once I select the color change from white to blue. After this I go to the question which leads me to the question which was marked. In this way I can always go back to the questions that I did not try in the first time and then when I have enough time I can go back to it. And this is a nice strategy because oftentimes there are questions which are critical or confusing and then you wouldn't want to spend more time on it because in order to get a good score you should answer most of the questions. In that case mark it, proceed to the next ones and then when you're comfortable come back to the marked questions. So here this is how you're going to give the questions. I'm not going to proceed through all the questions for the sake of time. So here I'm going to exit section. In this case, uh, there will be a message saying that you will not be able to return to this section if you go out. So if you have answered all the question and you're fully satisfied, you can exit this section. Otherwise, you can return to go back to the last question you were in. So for this demonstration purpose, let me assume that I have answered all the question and I'm ready to exit this section. In this case, I'll exit section. And this will take me to the next one. So here again I see a quantitative section. Since I have showed a demonstration of quantitative section, I'm not going to delve uh, too much time on it. 
I'm just going to exit this section uh, to go to the next one. And the next one here is a verbal reasoning. So again, this is the first page and there's a health page um, giving you the general directions, section directions and testing tools. Um, you can go through this in your own time. And then uh, I, for demonstration purpose, let us go and begin this test for the verbal reasoning. So here again, this is question number one. I'm just randomly going to assign two question, um, options and then move to the next question. Again, for example, maybe this is a hard question for me and I mark it to be revised later on. And if I use the review button, here again, I can see the questions that I have answered and questions that I have marked. And if I want to go back to any of them, I can select and go to question to go back to that one. And then later on, I can uh, try it and give my answer and then proceed to the next one. And just like the quant section, there's also a timer section and there's a help section which I can get back to any time I want. But I would uh, suggest that you read this information beforehand so that you don't have to uh, spend time looking for this help section during your actual exam. There's also some uh, directions about timing and break. Um, get yourself fam familiarized with them beforehand so that during the test you don't have to navigate through this. So I'm returning to the actual exam again and just because of demonstration purpose let me assume that I have finished this section and I'd like to exit. So I'm going to exit this section and I won't be able to come back here again so I have to be very sure that I have done all the answers. Similarly there's another verbal reasoning uh, for purpose of time. I'll just exit this section and assume that I have answered all of them. Now in an actual exam, you might have an extra section which can be either a quantitative or verbal reasoning. Now this is done for uh, testing purposes, but you can never be sure which one is for testing and which one is for actual. And therefore you'd have to answer every section with equal importance. Now here, after I exit and I have completed all the sections in this mock test, you're going to get the results for individual sections. Now for this demonstration purpose, I have not attempted any questions and therefore all the scores are zero. But in your case, you will have a score. And not only you will have a score, you can click on the individual score and see the question list, which one you have done right and which one you have done wrong. Along with a score of difficulty level, uh, the type of questions such as whether it was a text completion, sentence equivalence and so forth. And if you'd like to practice the questions that you have done wrong, or you want to practice the questions they have done right, but want to practice again, you can click on these individual questions and it will take you to the page where you can see the question, you can try to solve it again, and you can also have an explanation. So for example, here in this question, probably you can try practicing again. And after you're done practicing, you can um, click on the link, show me the correct answer, and then uh, if you're not satisfied, you need more explanation, you can look at the answer explanation. Sometimes there's also video explanation that will help you better. And uh, as long as you have the subscription for a certain period based upon whichever plan you have chosen, you can come back to this questions anytime you want and practice as many times you want. For mock tests, we need to see the mock test progresses. So here you can see uh, which mock tests you have given how much you have scored. And again, using the individual links, you can go back to the questions again and review them as many times as you want. And again, I would like to remind you that how this test can be very useful because this is giving you the exact interface as the GRE uh, actual test in EDS. It has the same timing, same type of questions, same interface. So you are going to get the real flavor of the exam even before giving the real one. And that helps out a lot. And for any planning that you want to purchase uh, for these kind of tests, here, if you go to the plans and pricing, you can see three different uh, packages and you can choose whichever fits you best, purchase it, and you're going to have it for a certain period of time. So you can practice as many times as you want. And I hope that this video has helped you uh, to navigate through the mock tests and you will be able to practice more before the actual exam and get a good score. Good luck on that. Thank you.